Alright guys, I'm getting a bit of a late start today, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cruise around up here, up north a little bit, and see if I can find some snakes crossing the road. Um, it's going to get pretty warm today, it's supposed to get up into the low 80s, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to see a few things, but we'll see. First herp of the day. What is this guy? Hiding in his shell. Really, really vibrant slider. Get him out of the road. Alright, first snake of the day. Black racer. He flew off the road. Let's see if I can get a handle in here. I did not. <laughs> oh well, it's just a racer. Let's see if we can find anything else. Next snake of the day, unfortunately, looks like it's a DUR racer. Yep. Even though they're calm, it always sucks to see dead snakes. Let's keep moving. Well, guys, it might end up being a pretty slow day today. I uh, took a risk coming out on a day that's bluebird skies like this, but I figured with all the rain we had earlier this week, a hot, sunny day would be good after that, but I haven't seen much yet. Um, probably gonna have to head to work here soon, but I will check in if I do see anything. If not, I'll see you guys next time. There are caterpillars absolutely everywhere today. All over the road. But no snakes. Very few snakes, at least. Well, I'm headed north to cruise for pine snakes and flip for milk snakes and thank god it's raining already hopefully it'll let up by the time i get there all right first snake of the day that was really fast stopped to flip a couple of things right here on the side of the road and found a little ring neck but uh hanging out with this tiger beetle anyways gonna leave this guy right here and keep flipping see what else i can find all right guys so what i'm gonna start today by doing is trying to get up some rocks i can see on google earth and uh hopefully flip a milk snake and if that does not go as planned, I'll probably spend the rest of the day before I have to go to work road cruising. So, we'll see. Alright, under that rock underneath my foot was the second snake of the day. A little inshed eastern worm snake. I see a lot of these guys flipping rocks, so I'm just going to put them back and keep flipping. Found some good looking habitat, so hopefully there's some better stuff coming soon. Alright, third snake of the day under that rock. Another ring neck. Decent number so far. Hopefully quality picks up. Well, I managed to get an in situ of this one. There's a southeastern crown snake right there. That's a new species for me for here. I'm gonna grab him real quick. That is pretty cool. Might be a county record. I'll have to double check. I, it should be a county record. I doubt anyone's found them here. Pretty cool. Still not what we're looking for, but I'll take it. Well, that's not a milk snake, but I'll take it. Timber rattlesnake in situ right there. Let's see if I can get some better shots of him. This is why you have to be incredibly careful when you're hiking habitat like this. I mean, I just flipped that rock right there, looked up, and he was sitting right there. Good looking snake though, I'm gonna take some, some photos on my camera. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this amazing snake right here to continue its bask. See if I can maybe find some more or a milk snake, but or more urgently, I wanna see what kind of creature is right over this ridge making a lot of noise that I can't see. So I'm gonna pick up my bag. Just poke my nose over here. Oh. Oh, it was that squirrel. I see his tail. All right, false alarm. I was hoping it'd be something exciting. All right, next snake of the day, Tantilla number two. These guys are apparently pretty common up here, so I'm tied Tantilla and Ringnecks, the most common snake of the day. But I'm gonna let this guy go back under his rock. Assuming he'll stop flailing long enough for me to put him down. All right, that is a Tantilla double flip. Look this rock right here. It's four Tantilla for the day. Crown snake number five. Not sure I've ever found five in one day before. <laughs> Much less in a new county in the mountains. Kind of bummed out there's not a giant pile of timber rattlesnakes at the bottom of this. 
really surprised there's not at least one. Maybe that one guy back there was a lone wolf. No copperheads either, that's kind of scary. This is a crazy looking little spot though. So many crown snakes, which I never would have guessed just by looking at the habitat. Milk snakes have got to be eating those things. Here's worm snake number two for the day. It's been dry for a little bit. I haven't seen anything here in a while. This is the first snake I've seen in probably 20 minutes. But the habitat still looks gorgeous. It's less flipping rocks, and I think that might be why I'm seeing less. But still, you'd think there would be timbers and copperheads all over this. This is freaking beautiful. I cannot believe I have not found a milk snake up here. Whew, I'm exhausted. And I'm probably cutting it close on my, uh, my water, and I'm going to have to turn around soon to make sure I get back to the car without running out. I have quite literally climbed a mountain in an attempt to, fly, to find a milk snake today. From top to bottom, nothing. Well, no milk snakes, lots of snakes. It was actually pretty good, honestly. Like if I don't see anything road cruising after this, I won't be disappointed, but I'll be a little disappointed I didn't find a milk snake. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna start heading back. I mean, there's still, I could still go that way even further, but in the interest of actually giving the road cruise a little, I'm gonna head back. I am officially a sweaty, stinky mess, but it's been a fun morning. I can't wait to do this again when I have like a full day and I can go that way for miles. It's going to be fun. All right, next find is a pair of black racers. I think it's only two coiled up together, probably male and a female mating. I'm going to attempt to leave them completely undisturbed after a little bit of video. Pretty cool. So here's one of the benefits, yet again, of leaving snakes alone if you don't have to touch them. This snake is now, I'm on the way back, and this timber rattlesnake has come most of the way out. And I can now get video and photo of him in C2 with his full body exposed. So pretty cool, I'm gonna leave this guy right there, take a couple camera pictures, and continue descending down this mountain. So my buddy Richard sent me a picture of a DOR from this area yesterday, and that's part of the reason I wanted to come cruise here today. The same snake's still here, and I'll, I'll let you see it here in a second. I don't know why he left it in the road, but I'm glad he did, because this is just insane. Even though it's dead, this is one of the most ridiculous looking snakes I've ever seen. Like, what even? Unbelievable. Sorry about the graphicness, but, I mean, that's insane. There's next ring neck of the day in C2. Same situation under one of these little concrete things. Put it back and let him go. I have yet to road cruise any snakes alive, um, or any fresh DORs really, but I have seen a good amount of lizards on the road, which means it should be plenty warm for snakes. It's 76 degrees according to my thermometer in the car, so it's definitely warm enough, and I'm hoping it's now 1.13 p.m., and I have to get out of here about 3 o'clock, so hopefully in the next hour or two, we'll see some snakes. Well, I just flipped a milk snake shed. That doesn't help me very much. That is a giant, still wet milk snake shed. Dang it. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. Um, ended up being a much better day than it could have been. It was nice to see a timber up there and all those crown snakes, which should be a county record. Uh, kind of bummed out about the milk snake shed. Had I flipped that rock last time I was up there, I could have probably found that snake. Um, and also about the dead hog nose, of course. But, I mean, I feel worse for Richard because he found it yesterday when it was really fresh. And I found it today after it had been sitting there for a day. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably check back in this weekend. Um, might do some more flipping up here. Not sure yet. We'll see. Depends on the weather. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I have a lot of business to take care of today, so I didn't hurt, but uh, we're at Panda Express. And there's him. Oh, I thought he was gonna do lap at me. Oh, he's hiding. 
Oh, he went to the bush. Anyways, it was pretty cool seeing that anole hanging out at Panda Express in the middle of town. But uh, I'm home now. I'm going to flip the stuff here at the house real quick. Then I have to work. But I'm off tomorrow, and I think I'm going to spend most of the day herping. So hopefully we can find stuff here at the house, though. We'll see. All right, what are you guys thinking under these today? I'm thinking nothing as usual. There's a vole. Food for any species of king snake or rat snake that would like to use these as shelter. And nothing, yet again. Guess that means there's probably not gonna be anything under these boards either. Nope. And nope. This one is like re-weathered. It's weird. It's like all the burrows are not being used anymore. And nope. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever flipped a snake under this piece of tin. There's a little ring neck hanging out right here. Let me get him out real quick for some picture. Good size, healthy ring neck. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've never found anything under that piece that I can remember, so I'm going to put this girl back. She looks like she's gravid, and uh, maybe she'll lay some eggs under there, and we'll find some babies later. All right, let's see what else is using this tin today. Hopefully that's not the only snake. Skink. Toad. Put this back gently. One more stop here at the bottom of my driveway and flipped this thing and was surprised with this little marbled salamander. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put him right back and I'm gonna try to flip a few boards on my way to work. We'll see.